In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a stacked horizontal bar chart here. As you can see here, we have one red color data set and then here we have two from the black color data set here. So let's start to look how to do this. First of all, make sure you have the boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link here, which you can find as well in the description box. Copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to, to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, join the Discord channel. All the links are in the description box. What I'm going to do now is, it's going to add up here a new data set. I need to have two data sets. Save that, refresh, all right. Then what I want to do is I want to make this a horizontal bar chart. So I'm going to say index axis will be equal to Y. So we swap the X with the Y, there we are. Now I want to stack them. So I'm going to say here only on the Y, I'm going to say stack equals true, save, refresh. There we are. So now they're stacked on top of each other. What I need to do next is a floating bar chart, but to make it really clear, I'm going to change the colors here. And let's say this one is online and the other one we will make just only the red color and we're going to say this one is pending. So save that and refresh. There we are. So now they're on top of each other. What we could do is the following. If I go to just remove this and I'm just going to make a bracket, then within here I can say for example 3 by 6 and if I save that, refresh, this starts to show nicely. And the same would be here. So now uh, they're basically three and six, and of course this must be as well in brackets an array. So now we have this here. So we could do here seven till nine to give it a space like that. However, what if you would have another one that you want to add up just between here? So for that, we're going to use a different data structure. We're going to put these curly braces in here. And then you're going to specify here the Y or the X will be the value because this is a linear scale because we have the numbers here. This here is a category scale. So we could say on this, we say the Y and we want to target specifically choose it. Whatever the label is, make sure you have an identical value. I'm going to copy this structure here. Well, I can just copy it all. Just put it in here. I'm going to change this to 7 to 9. If I save this, refresh, there we are. We could do another one by adding here, there's another item. And you could say here, as well choose day, but this one will be from 10 till 12. Save, refresh, and now you can see here we are adding up more and more values. If you want to remove these uh, bars here, the skip bar, we can say here, the or that's the border skip, you can put it in here border skip false save refresh there it shows it or you can cut this just put it in here so it will be applied in every data set that we have there we are and that's it so we can control them because of the category scale here or the category axis we can control it based on whatever the labels are defined here above 